All right, I'm on hole number four of the Extreme Hills Tournament. I'm in Tuesday's qualifying round of the Ricky Division. Still, I may practice today. I may qualify. I haven't decided. And hole number four is Groomberg Slopes. Hole number three. And I am trying. There's two different ways to go. And I'm trying the rough bump. Right now, I'm exploring the rough bump. I feel pretty good about the rough bump. I just need to uh, see if I feel good after I adjust for the wind. So I'm doing a 20% wind adjustment if I'm doing max club. So let's talk about this. I'm using a Kingmaker and I'm using a Sniper. And if I'm, if I'm trying to run it in, I'm right in this area right here, which is about mid club. Okay, so this is mid. So at mid, I hit 1.2 per rank. Up here for the rough bump, that's at max club, which is at one per rank. So on this hole, I'm doing a plus 20% wind adjustment. So let's do the math. If I'm, if, and let's just say for easy math, let's just say I had a two mile an hour wind. So if I'm up here and I'm at max club, 20% would be 2.4 divided by one would be 2.4 ranks, right? If I'm in mid club and I did, I'm already doing a 20% wind adjustment with the 1.2. So let's 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 work let's work it out. So I'm already doing a 20% wind adjustment at the 1.2. So I don't need to add on this wind adjustment. I'm going to do a max number at mid club. So let's do the math. 1.2 times 2 divided by 1.2 equals 2. And I'm at mid club. So I'm already adding that in. So if I'm doing the run up, I'm not going to do an elevation adjustment. I'm just going to use mid club. I'm going to use my max number at mid club. All right. So let, I'll, I'll do that math. 1.2, 20% wind adjustment. Okay. That's the 20% wind adjustment times two. Times two equals... 2.4 divided by 1 equals 2.4 <laughs> divided by 1. 1, okay, All right? It's 2.4. So if I do the mid, if I do the bounce up here, I'm going to use a max number at mid club, and I'm just going to go straight off the wind, and I'm not going to do this elevation adjustment. But if I'm doing the rough bump, I'm now at max club. So I need to add on the 20% wind adjustment. So if you're doing the rough bump, you'll probably need to add on 20% wind. If you're doing the bounce up where you're at mid club, you won't need to add that on. You'll just use one per ring. Hopefully that makes sense. And you may have to, if you're at mid club, you may have to fine tune that just depending on, because we're getting like the way that the wind's blowing in this tournament, you may have to fine tune that. But I'm gonna do a rough bump up at the top with a three power ball and a sniper. And I'm going to add on 20% win. Sniper. And I'm going to use a Kingmaker. That's all I need. That's all I need. And this lamp. My dog. Arr. All right, here we go. And here's the deal. It doesn't matter what you do on this. If you don't hit it perfect, then it's not, you're not going to have any shot at all. <laughs> Got to hit it perfect. I go first. Wind is 3.6, 3.6, so it's 4.32 rings. Yeah, here where I can see the cup. Four point three two, man. I don't really like having to pull over that sand like that, so I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it from this side. Four point three two. There's one, two, three, four. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna be able to do it unless I pull my grid on. So I'm gonna be off a little on that. I'm gonna have to push it from the other side. Hitting it perfect. I don't. 
don't really like having to go over that sand like that. <laughs> it's pretty close. Pretty close. I usually don't like pulling over sand like that. I'm going to have to turn my grid on on this hole. That way I can start because my take shots right here and my grids up here, my curl lines up here. So I can start it off with my curl line and it gives me more direction to pull this way because I ran out of room. Put my overlay on. If you're doing where my opponent was doing that shot, that is straight up one per ring. Now, as funny as it may sound, I actually have missed a putt from this distance. I pulled back like this and I got it to the point where the, the cup was glowing like that. And I released and it went forward just a little. You actually want to see that tail coming out on the other side. You can miss a putt from that distance. The cup started to glow and I released. I mean, hell, I, I could have blown on it really hard, got down there and blown on it really hard and it would have fallen in the cup and it, and it just rolled forward like a quarter of a ball and was really on the edge of the cup. It was already on the edge of the cup and it was really on the edge of the cup and missed that putt. So always make sure you can see your tail on the other side. You don't want to see the tail come out a mile because then it'll blast over it but you definitely want to see the tail come out on the other side. In my opinion. I'm going to do a 20% wind adjustment on this hole as well. I am going to practice some of these par threes because I'm trying to take, I'm trying to work different. I'm working different shots on them. So I want to kind of get an idea of what I'm, what I'm dealing with here. So I've got a Kingmaker. We shall see. Four point one four. I really, really like to do this rough bump, but I just can't get enough curl or side spin to get me over to the freaking hole. I'm going to do that shot with uh, 3.14, it's 4.8, 4.1 is what it is, 4.08, and then I'm going to lean against the nubs, hitting it perfect. Anytime you add curl into a shot, your chances of making it are slim to none because I'd have to do more than that in order to get it up there. So trying to repeat that over and over again would be super difficult. What I don't understand is some of my teammates are playing a pro and they're telling me with their sniper, they can get the tail to whip around there so that they can go straight at the hole and that that rough bump's really good. But in, from the rookie tees, I cannot get it to move around unless I get, and even when I get, if I move it to the right, I can, but you're right up against the sand. All right, that was hold number four of the Extreme Hills Tournament and Tuesday's qualifying round in the rookie division. Thanks for watching.